Didn't know I could do that, did you? Okay. <laughs> so now, welcome. My name is Jody Benecke. I'm the director of the vocal program <clears throat> and the choir program here at Santa Rosa Junior College. And I'm so glad to welcome you tonight to Before the Dawn, which is our concert today. And we are trying to lift you up and present, you know, present the vastness of the skies to um, inspire you, to make you weep, to make you laugh, to make you touch the face of God. What more could you want? Uh, in the program, there are translations because several things we're doing tonight are not in the English language. So uh, I hope you can see them well enough to know what's going on, but I think you'll get the main idea. So uh, please do look at that. Uh, my, I am happy to present to the, and ask onto the stage Nancy Hayashibara, who is my colleague and our pianist for tonight. Composer Nancy Hayashibara, we are premiering one of her pieces, Call to an Open Sky, later in the program. So we're looking forward to that. Yeah. Could I ask the uh, chamber singers to please start thinking about coming up on stage? And thank you very much. Uh, uh, while I'm doing this, I'd just like to remind you, we have several concerts this, this week. This is the first night of a series of three. And uh, tomorrow night, the symphonic band will be here, with, and the jazz band will be here. And they're presenting a program they're calling Storytellers. So that will be at 7.30 tomorrow, right here. And through the magic of having brand new, gorgeous risers that just arrived and were assembled on Saturday out of their packages, we are now able through that magic, to we can move them ourselves and we can have rehearsals on stage that are mixed in so we don't have to have just one discipline set up for two days and then another one like that. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah that's really cool. So um, the choir is going to demonstrate that to you at the end of the concert tonight. They're going to show you how they put them away. <laughs> yeah, aren't they? Would you please come on stage, choir? Come on. Chamber singers on stage, ladies and gentlemen. On Friday, we're having a very special concert with the orchestra, uh, and that is Viva la Musica, and that is featuring the mariachi cantares de mi tierra and uh, Jose Soto, who I adore, so I'm so pleased that he's coming and bringing his mariachi group from Luther Burbank Center for the Arts. So uh, be sure you don't miss that. None of those. No, not allowed. Okay. The chamber singers were uh, just in San Jose, at visiting San Jose State for a festival down there with um, Jeffrey Benson. And we were so, we had such a great time uh, and sang for other community colleges and some of the more advanced high schools in that area. And um, I think we did a fantastic job, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Well, you, you will be the judge of that. So we're starting, our first piece will be Tant que vivre, and that is uh, French for as long as I am living vigorously, in this case. As long as I'm young and healthy, I will serve the powerful God of love. So you get the idea. This young man has met a woman. He is very happy about that. And they, even though the gossips would like to say mean things about them, their love endures, and they're just having a wonderful time. La Belle Cécile au Pied de la Terre is in your program also. It is a very sad song. It is about a young woman who is mourning that her beloved boyfriend is locked in the tower and her father says, what's wrong with you? Why are you mourning? And she says, I want my boyfriend who's rotting in this tower. And he says, oh, my dear, I'm very sorry for you because tomorrow he will hang at the beginning of dawn. And she says, well, then bury me too right here so that all will know that we were loyal lovers. Okay. Those are our happy French songs. Here we go.
I just wanted to tell you a little bit about Let My Love Be Heard by Jake Rinnestad. Uh, this work was originally written for Choral Arts Northwest and was being uh, programmed by my friend Jonathan Talberg, who is the Director of Choral Activities at Cal State Long Beach. And uh, they happened to be, uh, he had this as a new piece of music, they hadn't learned it yet, uh, but one of their colleagues had been studying in France, Noemi Gonzalez, and she was unfortunately killed during the Paris attacks that took place there a few years ago. Uh, on the day that they found this out, they were supposed to be practicing new, very upbeat Christmas music, 
And Jonathan said, no, I can't do it, and brought out this piece, Let My Love Be Heard, by Jake Runestad. Uh, they rehearsed it for a very short time, actually, about an hour or something, and then recorded it. And that recording exists today, and most people have heard it. Um, Let My Love Be Heard uh, has helped to provide hope in the darkness of our world. That's a quote uh, from Jake Runestad.
quien fuera como el jazmín. Who would not want to be like the jasmine flower with its perfume? Who would not want to be like the rose or the multi-hued carnation? To be in your possession, my love, to be your flower. Que fuera como el What is that horrible noise? It's the sound of the carnival queen and the drums are bringing her in on the parade. Well, it sounds terrible. It sounds like a herd of thundering maracatu elephants. Ah, uh, just look at the beautiful green sea. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
I can hear, the, hear those elephants thundering by, can't you? Yeah, okay. Well, thank you very much. Uh, the chamber singers now are dismissed from the stage. So I'd like to feature a few of the soloists that are in our vocal music program. And they are uh, members of the Diction and Repertoire for Singers class, which this semester, maybe you've noticed, is concentrating on the French language repertoire. But we also did some other things that, were, uh, that are romance-based, like Spanish or Portuguese. And, um, Let them get a moment to get themselves together. They've just been vigorously singing about the carnival. So each one of them will come out and they will tell you what they're going to sing. Austin Aquino will be the first, and uh, she's going to be featured as Wednesday in Adam's Family Musical. But this is something completely different. She's going to sing something very different from what you will hear when you hear her perform Wednesday. Right, Austin? Yes. <laughs> uh, Bila No is the first song of a six-song cycle uh, titled Le Nuit d'Été, The Nights of Summer and it talks about a couple who ventures into the woods to experience the beauties of nature and love together. Wonderful. I think um, I'm so curious now to hear Wednesday, aren't you? <laughs> yeah. Okay. And then she'll be back in May singing here on the 17th of May. Uh, if you, uh, if any of you have heard, I think we'll get her to sing the Olympia's Doll song from the Tales of Hoffman, if you've ever seen that. The wind-up doll that sings, she's going to do that. So you're quite in demand, Austin. <laughs> Stay healthy. Okay, good. <laughs> Uh, next on the program is Aiden Cumming. I think you're playing the role of the boyfriend, and I don't remember his name. What is his name? Lucas. Lucas. 
<laughs> Lucas, everyone. <laughs> anyway, this is Aiden, who is now not going to be performing Lucas in uh, the Adams Family Musical. Instead, you're going to come over here, <laughs> and you're going to tell us about your song, Si Tu Le Veux. Si Tu Le Veux, by Charles Cotelin, um, is a, uh, it's a pretty little love song. Um, the singer is uh, asking, if you'd like to, my love, come out into the night with me. And when you return, if people ask why your hair is decoiffé, <laughs> <laughs> slightly more tousled than it was when you left, just tell them it's the wind. Next performer will be soprano Rado Romero. Uh, Rado recently participated in the uh, singing festival by the Redwood Empire chapter of the National Association of Teachers of Singing, and she was recognized for her outstanding performance so that she was included in their master class and able to take part in that. And Rada, what are you singing today? This evening, I'll be singing for you L'Absent by Charles Gounod. In the thereafter of betrayal, a lover seeks guidance from all entities of the night. He asks the moon in its mysterious omnipotence if his lover's eyes, while all are sleeping, open gently and remember him. Thank you. 
Um, our next singer is something completely different. Jordan E. Log is coming out, and he will be singing something that's very, um, well, I don't know, playful, cheeky, cheeky mm -hmm. jazzy, cakewalky. Yes, all the above. All the above. <laughs> okay, so why don't you tell us about it? Of course. La Statue de Bronze tells the story of a bronze frog statue in the French game of Tonneau. This frog has had enough of being a statue, and she dreams, yearns to be with the others. But alas, she stays on her pedestal as the insects sleep in her mouth. Uh, our next singer is going to be soprano Stephanie Beard. And Stephanie also participated in the singing festival that happened about just a little over a week ago, I think it was, uh, the Redwood Empire Chapter Singing Festival for the National Association Teachers of Singing. And Stephanie was awarded the highest prize at the end of the festival in her category, age category, right? No. Yeah, so at classical and age category, and here she is, Stephanie Beard. And she will be singing the Star Spangled Banner, not tonight, but at the commencement ceremony for, uh, for Santa Rosa Junior College. Um, so that's Stephanie. You will be able to hear her if you are at that. So Stephanie, tell us about what you're going to sing for us right now. Thank you, Jody. Will do. Chanson Triste, the sorrowed song by Henry Duparc. The piece was written for Duparc's late brother-in-law that had passed. Uh, the text reflects the more positive thoughts and memories of that person gone from someone's life and how you can e finally, easily finally heal um, knowing they are safe.
Absolutely beautiful. I, um, I, I could have had the whole class out here tonight. I'm very proud of all of them. I'm very proud of these singers who sang for you this evening. Aren't we lucky to have such a wonderful collaborative pianist as Nancy Hayek? Than that. And uh, so I just wanted to say um, thank you all for singing. I realized that Mark Kratz, four of you are studying with Mark Kratz. And, and that's a wonderful thing. My colleague Mark Kratz and I, we share the applied music individual instruction. So good. Mark, if you're here, hooray. <laughs> if not, I'll take you out for a drink. Okay. So thank you all. And now I will ask the... Um, concert choir to sort itself into a semblance of order and uh, you can come on out come on it's okay yes while they're while they're doing that I would just like to mention that in the lobby on your way out take a few moments to speak to your beloved or your friend or whoever you came to support tonight or maybe you just wanted to hear the beautiful music and please get, take a moment to think about them uh, last year we took a trip to New York and were able to go to Carnegie Hall. I took about 26 singers, or there were 26 of us who went. And that kind of thing doesn't, uh, go ahead and come on. That's, that's great, yeah, thank you, you're perfect. Um, and that is very difficult because those trips are very expensive and cost each student thousands of dollars. So um, the district doesn't pay for that. The students can't pay the whole tab themselves. And what does do that are your donations and your ticket prices, but um, you know, the, the donations help because the tickets are uh, you know, just a little part of that whole bucket scheme. So in the lobby you will see artfully placed next to the candy dish, a little wonderful plexiglass place where you can leave your donations uh, for the <coughs> students, and those will be used for the students here that you see here, or other music students, and to support them on field trips and, and doing things that they could not otherwise do. So thank you in advance for your generosity. I really appreciate that. I would also uh, like to mention that on that trip to Carnegie Hall, uh, my husband has almost always wanted to be part of those trips and he come. He's glad that he's a, he was a, a solo opera singer for many years, but he's happy to be in the chorus as long as it's on Carnegie Hall stage and we can go out to the opera in the evening. So um, he was with me on this last trip last year in, in uh, I think it was March, about a year ago, I guess. And um, he is no longer with me, very unfortunately. He passed away in December of cancer. And I would, in the program, I just wanted to include the wonderful faculty and my colleagues and staff uh, from music and theater arts departments established a music scholarship in his name. And I have included where you can go online to donate to that, uh, a one-time donation so that we can get a nice little nest egg and then turn that into a, a regular scholarship for music students. And I would really ask you to consider doing that under this little picture of him and me together. Um, I'm having a little trouble talking about it, so I won't talk much longer. I would appreciate it if you would consider that. Thank you. I think I haven't lost my program notes. That's always what I'm doing, is I mislead them and then my good intentions go down the tubes. Here they are. Thank you. Did you hear that? <laughs> Hot mic. Uh, this piece is, uh, was inspired by the poem I Hear America Singing by Walt Whitman. And if you've never heard, I won't read the whole thing, but it, I hear America singing <clears throat> the varied carols I hear, those of mechanics, each one singing his as it should be blithe and strong. The shoemaker, the boatman, the mason, the carpenter, the woodcutter, the plowboy, on his way in the morning, early before the dawn. And uh, Andre Thomas, who I actually went to college with, I went to university with him, uh, was, was moved by that and set this, composed this piece which is inspired and quotes that wonderful classic Negro spiritual walk together children. 
Um, Andre Thomas is now retired from the Florida State University, which is where he was when I met, when I knew him uh, in the professional world when we reconnected. He's now gone off to London and he's a, an associate conductor for the London Symphony Orchestra, specializing in conducting gospel programs of uh, choral music and also instrumental uh, music composed just by African-American composers. So he's doing that in London, I think it's a wonderful thing. We're so glad to be doing um, I Hear America Singing, which uh, Andre said, I could feel not only the words of Walt Whitman and the slaves in that setting, but that I was clearly transforming the jangling discords of our nation into a beautiful symphony of brotherhood. So in celebration of the diversity and the, and the promise and the, and the uh, opportunity of America, I hear America singing. Oh, 
imagine the perfect petals overlapping and surrounding and surrounding the beauty of the rose uh, as it appreciates its own beauty from within. That's kind of the concept of this beautiful piece, Direton. And now it is my pleasure and my honor uh, to uh, present the next work, Call to an Open Sky.
Uh, there are some really lovely remarks in the program notes that Nancy gave me about her piece. And if you'd like to see them, maybe just look quickly at them right now. I'll give you a chance. There'll be a test later. <laughs> but, wonderful story of the kawaii o'o bird. Well, it's not the wonderful story. It's the compelling story because it found its lifelong mate through calling out in song and answering the responding call of another o'o bird. And that's how these birds who mate for life found one another uh, with habitat loss and the introduction of non-native predators, the o'o bird is now extinct. In the last known recording of this bird made in 1987, the lone male is singing to a mate that will never come. And that is the recording we have part of that today. Call to an open sky is a reflection on loss and grief inspired by the desire to carry on the call. When the sky is open, there is room for friends. When it is empty, the friends are gone.
Jennifer Lucy Cook said, I wanted to explore the many aspects of the divine, pairing a grounded mother nature with a joyous, playful being who is capable of laughter, a force that is present in the large and small moments, the noise and the silence, and most importantly, the divine creative spark in each of us. And when I listen to this piece, I also think it takes a village to raise our children. <laughs> All right. They are mother.
few program notes are in there in your program, but I'm just so taken with the story of this young man who wrote this wonderful poem in 1941 when he was just 19 years old. He was a pilot in the Royal Canadian Air Force, piloting the Spitfire, and he wrote this and sent it to his family back in Canada while he was in England. Um, I just think it's amazing. Oh, I have slipped the surly bonds of earth and danced the skies on laughter silvered wings. That just amazing. Put out my hand and touched the face of God. And then he sent that poem to his family and about three or four months later he was killed, still 19 years old, in a training accident over England. So here is High Flight. So inspiring, so wonderful. And I hope you will enjoy it. I hope you will think of us in May when we are also doing our concerts, a uh, solo concert here for all the solo, the whole class of the Diction Repertoire for singers, including things, not just opera, which is wonderful, but also French cabaret. And then, uh, and quite pieces like that from Les Mis in the original French. What do you think about that? <laughs> uh, on the 19th, we're uh, collaborating with our orchestra who is conducted by, that is conducted by Cindy Weichel, and we will perform uh, Vaughn Williams' wonderful Toward the Unknown Region. And for all you Civilization video game fans, we're gonna do Baba Yetu. I don't know if you know that, but if you're not a, a video game player, um, you will love it anyway. <laughs> so I hope you will be there. We'll be on the stage with the whole orchestra. High flight. Here we go. David Brunner's setting, which is a miracle. Dance the stars, 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 dance the
I know they're authorized to leave the stage for purposes unknown, but uh, I would like a beautiful photograph of you, and I have a wonderful photographer here, Jason's here tonight, to take a beautiful photograph of us. Um, so I would plan on that, try to look pleasant. <laughs> Good chance for you guys to get that shot as well. Um, thank you for your patience in allowing us to take this time right now. Uh, so, uh, and yes. <laughs> Oh, what would I do without a Isn't that great? Thank you, composer extraordinaire. Yeah, and so please, yeah. Okay, I think we're going to go up and look beautiful for just a moment. It won't take us long. It, we can do it faster than you think. I think I'll not. Come on. Oh, no. <laughs> you don't just stay back as well. Can we just get to the other side? I'm I'm not just going to It's not even nine o'clock. That means your evening hasn't been wasted. And I hope you enjoyed the, the beautiful music. I always like concerts that are full of beautiful music and then end early enough so that you don't feel like a Grinch tomorrow. So uh, thank you for coming. I really appreciate your being here. I can't tell you. Please do consider um, the donation to the foundation uh, scholarship account for my father. Father. My, my husband. <laughs> was that? that was weird. Uh, <laughs> And for the students also, please do give donations into the uh, plexiglass uh, donation receptacle that is just next to the candy dish. You cannot miss it. Okay, and um, please do say some nice things to your people who are, have sung very well tonight. Please give them another hand. Rocky Road coming back, coming back from the COVID interruption. It's been very difficult and uh, everyone here has worked very, very hard to find their sea legs again and, and or for the first time. So I really appreciate it. We've all really had to trust one another, haven't we? Yeah. When you say? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yes. Major, major, uh, yeah, commitment and trust on that stage right now. So thank you very, very much. Appreciate all of you. I appreciate all of you. Thanks for being here.